Welcome back, wise ones. Coming at you today with episode 19 of the Iceni campaign on our way to reestablishing an ancient British empire. I keep saying reestablishing, rather recreating an ancient British empire. You might be wondering, why are we starting our, why is the screen starting out in northern France? Well, for the first time in a while, we do have an enemy to contend with, and we have them being the Boei, the Bowies from the Germanic region, a very powerful faction in and of its own right. And so we're going to need Atosa here to really be on her game. We're going to have to go ahead and start recruiting good soldiers. Uh, one thing that I was looking at, I hadn't really paid that much attention to this province. While I, I might go ahead and start building the bronze furnace here just to have, I also could up the slave market and we could get ambushers, which are a really fun unit to use and could be kind of fun. Uh, we'll wait for the ambushers until we get a big, you know, big windfall of gold when we reach this next chapter event or something like that but for now i am going to do the bronze furnace because the heroic nobles will really set us apart i do not know what the enemy is fielding here and i'm sadly we're not going to have any champions or spies to contend with for now though we're just going to go with our uh, we're going to go with our regular soldiers but we're also going to finally be able to use druidic nobles uh, in our armies. So we're going to go ahead and have the regular band of chosen swords plus a little extra. And I want to make sure that we have good defense here in Babract, which has a great garrison. Don't get me wrong with the veteran riders. We'd be fine, but we will probably use it as a jumping off point. And I really don't know how deep into the Bowie eye territory I want to go, but the world's our oyster. They're the ones that effed around, and now they're the ones they're going to find out. Last turn, we ambushed one b army here, but we do have a bunch of little rebellions to put down. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, you might be wondering, okay, well, what? why would we spend our time with these little armies? Well, one, it gives us just, you know, free cheese in terms of XP. But the looting that they do also causes public order bonuses, and I hate when I do that where it puts the puts the units down as ships. The Lothry might be getting sacked, sadly. I don't know what our garrison looks like. Painted ones and farmers. Eh. We are going to catch these guys here. We are going to be able to catch these Romans. Um, let's see, what do I want? Do I want a second wind? Yeah, let's be able to get the second wind for our units here. Could we recruit a good unit here? We could recruit some light horse to help us out in this ambush. Uh, we'll keep the scout rider. Why not? We'll grab one unit of light horse and let's get over here and absolutely demolish these guys. We're just going to, I'm just going to have the, I'm going to let the computer do its thing here on the auto resolve. Cool. 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 Again, we're releasing these captives. Uh, and then let's disband this unit here. And honestly, we could recruit. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab another. Let's grab another one of our forces. <sighs> we keep playing this weird cat and mouse game, but I really do think this time that we're we have really broken the Romans quite a bit here. The last thing the Romans have that I got to worry about is this first legion, the Legion Itali Italica here. I wonder if I go out of ambush stance, if we attack them at sea, if we yes, that is huge. We're going to go ahead and attack them at sea in the aggressive stance. Um, why did we do that, you might be wondering. Well, we did that because we'll be able to get the replenishment. They won't. And that really allows us to have this army to finally focus on going up from the southern tip. Uh, it's been too long since we've got these guys involved. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and give this unit as well. Or not this unit, this army campaign movement as well so i like the developments that we've been making here we're gonna let uh maybe i'll go ahead and start working on a better the better buildings for public order and garrisons they're not really giving us better garrisons but for now we'll use them for public order because uh this province needs some it needs some milk and by milk i think it means what i mean by that is this needs some help to uh it the Needs some help with public order. So needs some milk and honey, maybe. Um, let's grab the veteran riders here. This army will be complete, and we'll ship them down into here as well and march them out. Uh, wouldn't be bad, to tell you the truth, to have a holding army here, but with the with everybody tied up, with, the, with our armies tied up in Italy, 
it's not the end of the world to uh, to have to have that frontier kind of be empty. How much more? You know what? That's a good question. What's our next Imperium level? Oh, raise or sack eight different settlements. This is good to know that we should be raising. We get big sums there. That's good to know. Keep that in mind. Uh, hold at least one settlement in the following provinces. I hold... Oh, Magnage. Okay, we are going to get in there because of the way the Bowie Eye have, uh, have held us out. And that's going to give us some nice stuff. Be at war with two German factions. Okay. Um, interesting to know that we have to do... Okay, and Carthagenesis, man, the military victory would have a, again, we're not, we, we're not going to follow the military victories per se. We will get after the Germanic tribes soon enough, though. All right, let's end this turn. I probably, actually, I probably should have looked around to build some, some stuff. What is that? Is that a Roman unit or army? Wow, good for them. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if that one Roman army is trying to sail down into Syracuse or some, one of the weaker, and I'm doing air quote, weaker settlements we have. But also, guys, the support lately has been immense. I can't thank you guys enough for all that you guys have been doing. The, the comments of the engagement have been great. Um, a child has passed away, sadly. Grab that public order there, which is nice. All right, let's start doing what we are, came here to do. Yeah, let's get these guys moving down. And let's get... What happens here? All right, four public order. What's the... Medlan is the last settlement there. I think that this will stabilize itself. Soon enough, I want to get after these... Uh, I want to get after these rebels. ASAP. Cool. We forced them down into Rome. Hopefully, they'll do a little damage down here. Um... But for now, yes, let's go. Let's get toxic all the way up. Um, tell you the truth, actually, we should probably sabotage these guys. Yeah, let's do that to weaken them up. Ooh, look at that big damage there from Laticos. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, these guys are moving. They're doing our thing. Let's get them to Lilibium ASAP. Uh, let's go back up to the army here and continue our recruitment trail. Let's go ahead and grab a couple more Chosen Swords. Actually, no, we're going to do all Chosen Swords here. Five more Chosen Swords will give us that eight that we need. We have the Druidic Nobles. We'll grab a couple Spears. A um, couple Spears, then we'll grab a couple Chariots, and lastly, our Slinger Core. Well, actually, no, now that I think about it, let's grab our Slinger Core. Let's maximize the upkeep difference here. Okay, cool. Uh, any buildings we should be upgrading? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and focus on upgrading all the towns that we can with the coins that we have, with the extra coin that we have. Uh, let's give ourselves some extra food, too, because we do have some stuff coming up that is going to take food. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm trying to think. We might need we might need a drop. Oh, no, we have the Shrine of Rosmerta. We're good. All righty. Let's go ahead and end this turn. Good. Looks like that Roman... I wonder if that Roman fleet is in attacking range from our guys in Brudisium? I'm not sure. I am not sure. That'd be nice to get rid of... I mean, and I say fleet, I mean the transport fleet. Clearly, that's the first legion. Client state declares independence. This faction... But is, were Roman, the Romans were a client state of the Dalmatae? That is freaking hilarious. Okay. Good to know. Let's, uh, let's weaken these guys up. Even more. And we might actually... Is this the turn we take Rome? Is this the turn we take Rome? Wow. All of this... Um, all of this fighting, and I wouldn't want anybody besides Pekia to do it. Pekia is kind of our baddest, our baddest lady, if you will, our baddest general. It would be nice to give her, you know, all the way up on the dread, the fear and intimidate, which would be nice. Uh, what does this do? Morale in foreign lands, which is excellent. Uh, what does this do for us? 
Anything else that we could do maybe here that gives us some, some battle captives? We'll ra we're definitely going to raise Rome as well, by the way. Uh, Pekia, yeah, we're going to go ahead and give her... We'll go all the way up on Dread. Yeah. Not what we expected, is it? But we are going to raise Rome this episode. Excited to finally have achieved this. Uh, remember, the whole pretense of the expansion of the British peoples were that Boudicca had her druids send her ancestor had a, had her druids send a memory to her ancestors from five, six, seven generations back. Because remember, we're like 180 to 200 years off of this. With the knowledge that the peoples from uh, peoples from a city on seven hills were going to oh, I didn't get a chance to raise the settlement. Oh, sad. Or maybe I misclicked the wrong button. Dang it, did I misclick the wrong button? That would really suck. Um, but the peoples from a town on the Seven Hills would destroy our culture. And now we have officially been able to overrule that, rewrite a little bit of history here, and capture Rome. Finally, that is huge for us. We're also going to march down and take a Rimnum as well. Uh, give us this, uh, and we are really... Operation Ho Ho is in its final stages. I keep I keep forgetting to raise settlements, but again, these settlements are ours. Oh no, Rimnum was reconverted. For keep yep, noted that it was probably me. I have to get into the habit of raising settlements. We'll raise our settlements in the in the east when we go over there to capture them. No, we can't we can't attack these guys just yet. So we'll leave we'll leave our force here just to kind of be mobile enough to get around to where we want to go. Because this army will go ahead and take Neapolis next turn, and that will be all of Italy under our control, which is amazing. We'll leave one... We will leave one spy over by Yander just to see what the Romans are up to, but we're going to actually have Latico start moving up into the Bowie territory uh, so we know what's going on there. Let's make sure that we're not missing out on any, yeah, any movement... Okay, yeah, they are going to, yeah, cool. Our one, our one army is making its strides. The Swords of Power are doing their thing. Let's go ahead, we get an upgrade here. Let's go ahead and get, uh, let's decrease our upkeep. Sweet, let's recruit. Veteran Riders will be nice. But yeah, let's actually just grab all of... Well, what's the upkeep for these guys? 114 veteran riders. One, or did I say 114? 144, 144, 149. Yeah, this is maximizing upkeep to its fullest here. We'll grab them next turn and we'll march on Visuntio. All right, that's a nice little piece here. The Romans going down with a little bit of a whimper, but honestly... I don't care. I'm sure they're going to find some way to move around and attack Alalia with a bunch of, you know, with a... Yes. Hello, Bowie Eye. Good to see that they have an army here. I think hopefully with these forces that we have, we'll be able to repel them. Because right now they are messing up my, uh, they are messing up my recruitment. How naughty of them. Mm, that's where that army went. Good to know. Settlement under siege in Babract doesn't surprise me. Oh, our agent is detained. Do, do, do. Well, we are going to take Neapolis as the last settlement here so that the Romans suffer food penalties, hopefully. Uh, yeah, we're, gonna amb we're also going to ambush these fleeing Etruscan rebels. I don't want them getting down into Cathentia. So, bang. We'll take that. The Etruscan League is destroyed. We'll put some pressure on those Romans there. Let's go ahead. Mine as well. Pecky has been doing all the heavy lifting so far. So, let's go ahead and take this settlement for us. For ourselves. We're going to raise Neapolis. Um... What do we need here? Let's put a well in to help Rome grow. And then let's also put in... So We don't need food, actually. It doesn't look like we need food. Could be nice. We'll build another temple in one of these other areas. 
but we'll actually build another artisan's lounge to be able to build that horn maker. That really helps with public order. There's going to be another rebellion. That's okay. All right, finally, these guys are getting... Our, the public order is finally sorting out at Corsica. Not gonna, cannot express how long it's taken. You guys might remember, it's been a long while. Let's move our forces up here. We've taken some attrition. What does this army look like? A bunch of sword followers, which, are those better than our units? It does. It does look like the sword followers are better than us. A, a, another queen is attacking us, which, hey, good to see, you know, some woman power here. Some veteran spears. Yeah, this isn't good, actually. <sighs> Interesting. I don't have chariots. The chariots would have come in really handy here. Um, that being said, I don't want... It's 15 minutes in. This could be a good first battle. Uh, an introduction to fighting... An introduction to fighting the Bowie Eye. What is the other alternative that we could do here? We could hold out. So let's decline the attack really quick. Okay, so what's the other alternative? We hold out. We recruit. Can we recruit chariots? We can. We don't have the funds for it. That could be easily resolved. I might do that. I might hold out for one more turn here. Let's go down into these building projects that we were doing in Italy. That's Magna Grecia. Let's go into Italy. Let's get rid of that. Um, all right, let's move on up here. That's enough for two chariots. So we are, let's move. What do we have here? Is this a, oh, okay. Yep, that's not. Uh, let's move her to the border. And let's recruit two chariots. Then next turn, we'll bring our chariots over here and attack. That's our plan. Okay, little uh, rebellion outside of Rome, which is fine. Good. The Spartans took Eander, which is good to see. Um, I'll use Pekia to, dis to destroy that rebel army, and then I'm, I am going to use the army in R Armin Ariminum, sorry, to move up and attack the Boii from the south. Uh, that'll be a good use of our forces there. Okay, Syracuse, can you not be in our port at Lilibium, please? I know our blues are the similar, but that is not for you. So. Okay, hidden agent exposed, increase in rank for our Drudus. Go ahead and get this growth going here. Okay. We also probably could recruit up a decent mercenary force, and we are going to do that. Let's move up here. Okay, I can't... That is annoying that I can't get... That's... Oh my god, that's so annoying. Um, then they're not suffering nearly as much as we are. I wonder if we force... I'm gonna force march here. This would really suck if we get ambushed. If we get ambushed, we get ambushed, though. I'll hire some more swords... Just in case. That's a good use of a couple hundred Shmula. And then next turn, hopefully, we ought, we will be able to get her involved with our chariots. Let's get our arm. Let's get our spy up into here. See what else we got coming our way. The Helveti are raising some issues. Arimnum, Rome, uh, Rosmerta. Do we already have a Shrine of Rosmerta? We do not have a Shrine of Rosmerta, so we will be using that. Let's go ahead and get these guys off of our back and destroy them. Yep, just cleaning up, cleaning up some gorillas here. Man, the Italian peoples need to just calm down. They, they, they should know better than to uh, be constantly rebelling against us. It's just going to end in sadness for them. Well, next turn, we will be able to get rid of these guys. Let's go ahead and upgrade that for the food. To tell you the truth, this upgrade for the food will be really helpful for us. Uh, I hope the Syracusans aren't getting too frisky. If they are, it's fine, because we do actually have... We have a couple of armies that are in really good positions to deal with them if they do get frisky. We'll just bring... We'll bring uh, Agriku over and through this way. 
this this army, they are they are. Okay, I, I think the Syracusans might declare war on us soon. Let me double check what this looks like. Do we have a non-aggression pact with them? In the name of Hermes. Speak, but do not deceive. Yeah, I do think we're actually going to have to get to war with the Syracusans, which is a side quest within a side quest within a side quest, a side quest inception. Uh, wouldn't expect that, but let's go ahead. I want to keep, I'm actually going to keep some Shmula just in reserve. Uh, as much, oh, let's go, let's, I'm just going to cycle through making sure we're not missing out on any buildings. Maybe this, yeah, here in Neapolis, we'll upgrade that. But why that? Because one, it gives us public order. Ah, good. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, Rome. It was nice knowing you. Gotta love those 120 Romans, Triari, trying to reclaim the settlement into the army again. What is it? Uh, 41, rather. 41 Romans trying to get after him <laughs> to defeat 24,000. Let's, uh, or not 24,000. Jeez, I wish 24,000. 2,400. Oh, I could have moved that army from a Rimnum, and I actually do need to do that. I need to move that army from a Rimnum up into Padavium. Okay, are the Delmate really going to attack us? Man, why does everybody hate us so much? All right, cool. Goodbye. And with this, the Romans will be sniffed out. Another good question is, what do I do with this army? This army is kitted. Um, this, this army might not be a bad army to start sailing to uh, Cyprus, to tell you the truth. Speaking of things that we need to do, though, and I know we're really, we're approaching, we're past that 22 minute mark. Uh, let's get some of these people married here. Let's go ahead and send a gift. Do I get gravitas plus one gravitas per turn if we secure a promotion for? Oh no, we can get her married though. Okay, married and married. Excellent, excellent uses of that. We get, we now have another general that we can use. How old is this girl? Ten. How old is this guy? Ten. How old? Eight. Okay, we're getting there slowly but surely. Um, would love to adopt Pecky. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, for now we're not going to. Let's actually secure who we got here. Canini. Let's go ahead and secure a promotion for her. Uh, that'll help us with our army. And then who do we got? For Rasona. Let's go ahead and secure a promotion for her as well. Two, uh, two stalwart ladies that I do love. I do love Kanini down here as well as Rosena, but it's good to know that those are the ones that sadly, if we ever have a rebellion, will be the ones to go. Uh, Brundisium might not be bad to get a, a boatyard going up here. And let's go ahead, though. Let's focus up back north here. Let's see. Let's drop into a regular stance. Can we recruit? We can grab some more mercenaries. We're going to disband them this turn anyways. Let's get this army out of our doorstep here. Okay. I don't think I would blow this. Uh, let me see what the auto-resolve situation looks like. 70%? Okay, I did it anyways. Uh, kind of, not going to lie, I accidentally misclicked there. I was trying to readjust myself in my seat. And we uh, clicked this. Uh, let's release the battle captives again. Uh, because I want that Shmula. And we are going to take... Yeah, let's gut these guys. Uh, why did I do that? I didn't want to just... I didn't want to lose any chariots. Alright, Atosa also gets an upgrade here. You'll love to see that. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's give her the authority when we need an army. And then non-barbarians. That's not, we don't need that. I'm actually going to go with the strategist route. I would, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to go with the strategist route for them. And then for her, for Kesimara, I'm actually going to go with the bard route. And we are going to actually, we're going to disband a lot of her army, if not all of her army. We're going to disband. We do not need them, hopefully. Let's go ahead and give the chariots up. 
and then she is going to get force marched back down to Nima, to Nemosos as fast as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and get our spy moving up. Honestly, would have been good to see this force marched army. Let's move back into the settlement, though. What can we recruit? What do we need to recruit? We don't need to recruit chariots, but we do need cav. So let's grab our, let's grab our cav. Two turns to replenish here. That's excellent. That is excellent for our replenishment stuff here. Ooh, you know what? Instead of dropping this into steel food, I should have, I should have sabotaged them. That being said, let's move. Let's take an Asonia and we'll start moving her up to Padavium. And also, we don't need to worry about Eander anymore. It's the Spartans. Let's go ahead and start moving. Uh, let's move our other spy up. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, this helped us out a lot. I am actually going to move this spy down. I'm going to move him down through the Hellenic... You know, not the Hellenic, but like the Hellenic factions down here, the, Bal the Peloponnese. And we're going to use him to see what's going on in Cyprus. That is what his use is going to be. Let's cycle through these armies. We're making good time here. This, I'm going to, I might, I should. I'm going to force, I'm actually going to force row her up to Alalia. Just because we'll, we'll want to take out that last Roman fleet soon. All right, cool. Yes, we are in good position we are in good position. Uh, might take, as much as I love stealing from these idiots up here, I don't know if we need to steal from them anymore, to tell you the truth. Uh, yeah, probably shouldn't either. Let's go ahead and get rid of her, or not get rid of her. Let's bring her back down into uh, our territory so that we could have her start doing better stuff for us. Alrighty, another 30 minute episode here. Crazy. We're gonna leave we're leaving our Romans here. Um, let's actually just go ahead and do the reservoir. We have a lot of mineral springs. We'll just do the reservoir. Although actually Yes, we'll do of all the places this should be where we are uh putting in the mineral spring to get that better growth per turn, but it's not the end of the world. We actually are gonna have a lot of agriculture there too. Yeah, then this army will be freed up, and we could send them north, but I really do think that we should send them east with uh, with the fleet with the other fleet there. Okay. Yeah, next turn we will have an Asonia move up, and this is just a ripe target for us right here. But yeah, that's going to be our strategy for the next turn. So what are we going to do next episode? What do you guys have to look forward to? You have to look forward to us replenishing the Woad Warriors. As well as uh, having, so Atosa is going to be moving and Anasonia is going to be moving. This theater of war up here in Germany looks like it's going to take up a little bit more of our time than we thought. But we've conquered Rome. We've got rid of the Italian peninsula. We got rid of the plague of the, the citizens of the Italian peninsula. Their last fleet is here. Uh, we'll see what they actually end up doing. And we are very close to having our uh Admiral Smeria come over to Lilibium, where we are five turns away still from better ships, but that is what it is. We're going to end a turn here, see what we got going on, and then we'll end the episode as well. So we'll start off. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, man. Okay, it looks, this is why, that's why that was such a big mistake that we should have clicked. Um, we should have sabotaged the other force, and I am going to bring that spy over to sabotage them. Um, yeah, settlement under siege, but bracked, that's fine. Oh, did we get replenishment, though? That's the issue. We did not. We did not get replenishment here, which is actually a huge issue. Wow, that really sucks. That really, really, really sucks. Um, we need to sabotage the supplies here. And again, I should be saving this for next episode, but for now, we're going to do it here. This is huge that we have our guy here. What do our chances of battle look like? Not good at all. God dang it. That really sucks for us that there was another army. What does that mean? Well, it just means that our girl... Just means our girl Atosa is going to have to come up clutch again and bring some fresh reinforcements in from Nemedicina. Actually, I wonder... No, we can't... Oh, here, let me, let, let's me let test something out really quick. Just regular move. I'm going to put her up here as far as we can go. 
We can recruit. We can recruit units here. Excellent. So we're going to grab some chariots. And we're also going to grab some chosen swords. Then we'll also grab the rest of the mercenaries next turn. Actually, no, I might as well just grab them now so that they can't grab them. And then this army will move around and attack them again. We should be fine, which is good. But I am going to have to end this episode or else I can, go play. I can keep playing for forever. Uh, so... Gonna see some big action up here. Maybe I'll actually fight this battle. Not really. There's not that many soldiers here. But next episode, we're gonna finally strike back at the Bowie Eye. But we captured Rome. In the comment section below, let me know what you guys would like. Um, let me know if there's anything I should be doing to make the series better. We're reaching that 20 episode mark. I do think there's probably gonna be another 10 to 15 episodes because after we deal with the Bowie Eye, we're gonna or, uh, we're marching over to get to Egypt and we're also gonna get to Cyprus and after that hopefully steamroll Arabia and Pakistan and we'll be able to call it a uh, call it a series. But in the comments below, let me know how you kind of envision this series going after capturing Rome. That was huge, pivotal part of the series as always. Operation Ho Ho is finally complete. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, but most importantly. Stay wise.